Interactive, adaptive. The winner is the dumping ground. You're the boss. So we, we truly didn't expect to win this, because the, not, not least because the competition was so extraordinary. So thanks, obviously, to everyone at Something Else, a unique multi-platform place where you can make this kind of stuff. And thanks to the guys at the BBC, who are the only people who are going to have the confidence to commission an interactive work like this for, for kids that need work, that need material and content like this. So thanks very much. Thank you. Now, can I just start by talking about the right-hand side of this sofa? Double velvet. Yeah, you do not see that every day. Not. We did it on purpose. We did it on purpose. I like it. The midnight blue velvet. Mm -hmm. Can I ask what particular challenges you encountered in turning the TV series into a game? Mm, Mark? So, I think the biggest thing was trying to figure out a game that could like properly reflect what Dumping Ground's all about. Yeah. And so, we took a lot of time kind of figuring out what it is about dumping ground that makes dumping ground dumping ground rather than just making a game uh, and then just trying to figure out how to reflect that back mm -hmm. to the and then basically working with great partners like something else mm -hmm. to kind of sort of realize that and uh, yeah it was uh, yeah and once sort of having that nugget of information what was then the aim of the game what was the what did you decide was the thing that you were after well we we wanted to make a game that actually had at, it, at its core, the thing that you were playing was actually related to what Dumping Ground is about, right. which is interesting people in, frankly, sometimes a difficult circumstance. And we had this idea of making a game that was about nurture. Mm -hmm. As the player nurtures the characters better, the player does better, which sounds like simple, but mm -hmm. it, it's actually very hard to pull off. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about the style of animation you used and the, the overall production design? So the animation basically is like the amazing style that's like Nick Sharrett's animations, um, which, you know, from the books that Jacqueline Wilson wrote, that Nick Sharrett did the, uh, did the animations, but then obviously then these guys who made the game for us kind of then just basically just took that to the next level. Mm -hmm. What I think is really nice is you've kind of got a really special balance of having the fun that you'd mm -hmm. want to play a game with, mm -hmm. but equally the sort of fairness and that nurturing that you were talking about. Mm -hmm. And with that in mind, how long did each one take to make? Each game? Right, yeah. I I'm think the sure. process was about yeah. six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took six months six to yeah. make the game. Yeah. Yep. Wow. It takes a while yeah. to make a game, actually. Like, mm -hmm. um, just because there's obviously um, a lot of complex issues we've got to work through mm -hmm. and getting all the animations done and all the artwork done and then mm -hmm. working with the BBC to make sure it was on brand. Yeah. Have you got other ideas of how you might develop it further? BBC. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I kind of watch this space a little bit, really. It's kind of like, you know, we've sort of done this with You're the Boss, and then we're just trying to figure out what mm -hmm. to do with, like, the next iteration, what dumping ground mm -hmm. could be and where to take it next, really, based mm -hmm. on sort of what our audience wants and what they, what they expect mm -hmm. and where they expect it. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your success. Enjoy your evening. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. much. Congratulations. Stop booing. Uh, oh, oh, not Ian Sterling. Oh, oh, Ian Sterling's just skate crashing. Oh. Oh. Not your turn yet, Ian. Uh oh, rivals, rivals, oh. watch out. Oh. He's going to win. Ready, it's all mine, game. Do you get to input into the script at all and add some jokes if you think of some? Yeah, I mean, we do. Um, uh, with apologies to the writers, we do occasionally go off and riff and improvise stuff um, mainly to make each other laugh more than more than for, uh, whether it gets in the show or not I don't know <laughs>